Welcome in adventurers to Cohalen's Adventures channel update number 112-112. Uh, it is Wednesday, the 27th of March, and I'm calling this one Landslide for a couple of reasons. But uh, the definition of a landslide is a mass movement of material such as rock, earth or debris down a slope, they can happen suddenly or more slowly over long periods of time. When the force of gravity acting on a slope exceeds the resisting force of a slope, the slope will fail and the landslide occurs. Um, part of the reason for calling that uh, this channel update landslide is because I saw a band called Landslide. Um, and that one was last week on Saturday. Um, Long Beach Auditorium, I was given a, a wonderful invitation by Jennifer Jo Oberly, who you've seen at Joe Travers' uh, Halloween show with her band J. Joe and the Gener Generators that I posted videos from at Roscoe's in Fullerton. Um, she was in Crimson Crowbar for a, an afternoon playing with them. Uh, she has the 90s rock show that I haven't been to yet, but she that's one of her other groups um and i saw her a long time ago with wild honey orchestra and also the um that was alex theater and it was the kinks show and i also i think it was the first time i saw her was on the evening of the neil pert tribute at the whiskey gogo -Go, where i saw several musicians that i would come to learn and, and be fans of, including another one that I saw this week. Um, but I'll get to that later. First, the numbers. Um, last week is 3,577 uh, adventurers, and we jumped to 3,667. So about 90 a week is, is about the average. Um, and the watch hours went from 44.2 thousand watch hours to 45.6 thousand watch hours, which is about the same amount uh, per week. So it's um, about 1.4 thousand watch hours. Not bad. Um, so last week, I went to see Kiko Matsui at uh, Campus Jacks and was unable to get any videos from that so far. Um, it was a requested no recording. They did a live stream of that. I have a copy of that. I'm going to get that broken into its component parts and I'll get that up hopefully sometime this coming week. Um, but nothing from that show. The landslide show that I went to at the Long Beach Arena on Saturday was full orchestra and then the band doing landslide was the music of, of Fleetwood Mac, uh, the, the popular Fleetwood Mac, the Buckingham, Buckingham Nicks Fleetwood Mac period. Um, even though they did slip in a little bit from the earlier days, a verbal reference to um, Peter Green's Fleetwood Mac with Black Magic Woman, and also musically on the last song, Tusk, they slipped in a little bit of um, a well. So that, that was a nice treat. And not only did they have an orchestra, but they also had a um, marching band from some local high school that last song on Tusk because of the USC marching band that had been recorded on the original Tusk. So... That was fun. And then Monday, went back to the baked potato for the first time since their fire. And if you don't know about it, there was a fire Tuesday last, uh, a week ago yesterday, that was discovered by uh, a police pol patrol car that was going by and noticed smoke coming out of the building. They called the fire department. The fire department got down there, broke in. Uh, put the fire out within 17 minutes. It was isolated to the AV office room, uh, which was behind the firewall where the kitchen and the main building are, um, and it was out to the patio. So 
nothing was, nothing irretrievable was lost. That was the good thing. Um, but apparently somebody, this wasn't, as I suppose, supposed at the beginning, an electrical fire from a short or something like that in the office. Somebody broke in from, climbed up from three buildings down, broke through and stole things and then tried to cover their tracks by setting a fire. Um, so it's just fortunate that they only missed one day of a show uh, there and they're back up and running. Uh, from the front of house, you can't really tell anything had happened other than maybe the you recognize that the front door is not as massive as it had been before, um, but it's still hugely solid. It's just in a bit from where the original huge wooden oaken door, uh, it, it had been like this thick and now it's like this thick. So still does the job. Um, I almost didn't recognize that it had changed because the handle was the same. It had this big opening door, but anyway, I digress. <laughs> Monday I went to see the Buzz, Buzz Wizards. And Buzz Wizards are Toshi Inagi, who I'm a big fan of, I've seen him. He was one of the guys I saw at that show that I first saw Jennifer Joe Overly at, the Neil Peart tribute at the Whiskey, along with Joe Travers, along with uh, drummers that I knew, Christopher Ellis and uh, Joan Mater. I met Jimmy Keegan, who's also in Jennifer's bands. Uh, he was in the Landslide show that I just talked about. So a very an amazing show that led me to various different tentacles of music, so to speak. Um, but anyway, the Buzz Wizard show, Toshi Yanagi on guitar, mostly his music. Um, and he had with him Jorgen Carlson, who you might have seen on some videos that I have of Nerve Bundle. Uh, he's been with Government Mule before. Um, Matt Rohde was supposed to be on keyboards, but he couldn't make it for whatever reason. So they had a guy named Fred Cron playing keyboards, who was wonderful. Uh, Mimi Carlson, Jorgen's wife, was vocalist and rhythm guitarist at times. Um, and then Steve Ferrone, or Ferroni, depending on how you say it, uh, from Tom Petty, was the drummer, and he was magnificent. The, the whole show is great. Um, and I got some good footage from that. Saw the first set only, it was sold out, and so was the second set, I was told. So I was very happy to go home with, with a set worth of, of videos. You'll be seeing those over this week. Uh, I've already posted a few. A few today will post some more tomorrow. Um, and that leads us to this week. And this week, tonight, tonight I'm driving up to Los Angeles to go to the Orpheum Theater to buy tickets for Dweezil Zappa, who's coming in, in August. First time since COVID that he's played anywhere. So very looking forward to that. I'm going to buy tickets for that. And then my dilemma. I know I'm going to go up to Aaron Records because uh, hopefully I'll get a bunch of 99 cent CDs that are very cool. Um, but I was thinking of going to the Baked Potato, which is nearby, to see um, Doug Webb's All Stars, which is Danny Carey from Tool on Drums. Uh, Rick Beato just did an interview or two interviews with him just in the last couple of days. Doug, Doug Webb on sax, Jimmy Earl, who you've seen with many other videos that I've had posted. Um, I saw him on the first time with Toshi and Jimmy, with Jimmy Branley at the rhythm section for the um, Charisma, the first Charisma video, the first video I actually did at the Baked Potato, and it had uh, just a great line at Brandon Fields, uh, Woody Minkowski, Woody, yeah. Yeah, Woody Minkowski on sax and vocals. And then um, keyboards was, I believe, Mitch Foreman. Um, it was either Mitch Foreman or Matt Rohde. I'm not quite sure at the moment, but it was one of them, and they were great. Um, 
activated palladium you can find that video on my youtube channel uh, i just did the one that night but um that was coming back from a post dam show with mark Bonilla that very same night up in uh, westlake village at bogies so those videos are up there to view um but then the other choice that i have tonight as wonderful as doug webb's all-stars would be uh is to drive out to pasadena to the 180 one room and see um not jimmy brandley but steve her on, on drums a guy named ricky z who i've just read about um blues guitarist session guy <clears throat> i'd never heard of him before today but uh apparently he's got a, an extensive background played with tons of people and then brandon fields and renee camacho who have been with brandon before there uh and andrew sinewick so that's my dilemma which one do i choose do i go over to aaron's records and atomic records and when they close at five go over to baked potato and hang out for an hour or something like i did on um on monday or do i drive all the way out to pasadena and go to the 181 room 1881 room um and see those guys i've i've seen pretty much all the players in in each of these except for ricky z uh financially different price 40 for the baked potato and no guarantee of recording ten dollar cover charge in cash at um the 1881 room it'll be a coin flip and i'll probably decide when i get to atomic records just feeling the the, the drive and the cost and all that that balance so that's today <coughs> a, uh, a, an embarrassment of riches and choices to make friday uh, Alfonso Johnson is playing at the Baked Potato, so I'm definitely going to be going back to the Baked Potato this week. So it'll be two times or three times this week. And Alfonso has a great all-star group. He's got Simon Phillips on drums. Alex Sill, who was in Alex uh, Simon Phillips' protocol show that I recorded at Catalina Club just down the road. Um, Mitch Foreman on keyboards. And... A person named Christian Hebel on violin, who I don't know anything about, but I'll discover uh, Friday. And then Saturday, I'm back to Campus Jacks to see Nathan and Noah East. Uh, Nathan East has played with people, you name it, but uh, a lot of people recognize him from playing with Clapton. His son Noah plays keyboards, uh, Noah's bass player, if you don't know. Um, and they've got uh, Donald Barrett on drums that you might have seen from either the Cookies or the Alan Hines videos. Or um, if you went to Las Vegas to see Lady Gaga, he was uh, her drummer for the whole stand there. So it'll be good to see him again. And uh, I think that there's one other possibility. Easter Sunday, I have a, an annual thing I go to with friends. But that night at the um, write-off room is Deep Cuts, which I mentioned when I did the interview for One Shot Deal with Ben Thomas. That was one of his groups and has Woody Mankowski that I mentioned earlier uh, on sax, I presume, and vocals probably. Uh, been on vocals and I'm not sure what else uh, guitar or any number of instruments could be rest a guy named Jordan Katz who I know I've I've only seen once before he was at the premiere of the Regent Street album w with Dan Byrne and Dan Byrne mentions him a lot so it'll be interesting to see him there um, so that's a possibility it may not happen but I might, you know, it's it's Easter Sunday. I might rise to the occasion. Sorry, I had to go there. Uh, anyway, that's the week. Next week has a lot more interesting stuff happening. Will I do it all? Will I do any of it? Um, one of them, definitely, I'm 
doing for sure. Um, I can't get my, there we go. Um, there, there could be up to three things and the week following that is really going to be busy. So stay tuned. And until then, get thee to a concert. As always, much love. Take care.